Peter Chang here with Macho Cave, and in part 8 of our Build Your Own Computer series, we're going to go ahead and install the front panel connectors. And ASUS has made it kind of easier for us to install by supplying something that they call QConnect. Uh, QConnect is actually this, this white panel here, I'm trying to get this more in focus here, but it's, it's a, it stands for Quick Connect. And with QConnect, we could actually uh, plug in all of our front panel connectors and very quickly just attach it to our uh, motherboard. So all I have to do is connect my front panel connectors to the QConnect and then plug the QConnect straight to the motherboard. Easy, right? Well, it, it should be. It uh, just takes a little time, a little patience to set this up. So let's grab our front panel connectors and we're going to pull this a little bit taut. And you see with the front panel connectors uh, we have a couple of colored wires and then we have some white wires. Typically white wires indicate positive uh, polarity and but in this case um, if you have a whole bunch of white wires in there uh, go with the colored ends as being the positive connectors and what use the white wires as negative and this is just the uh, case with it uh, with installing it if you reverse the polarity sometimes you fry out the board and the motherboard doesn't work so while this might seem like a small and trivial step uh, be really careful that you know which end is the right polarity sometimes the uh, uh, case manufacturer's manual would tell you, but I've been working with Antec boards or Antec uh, cases quite a bit, so I'm just kind of used to like doing that contrary thing where I see where it says it's white. It's really means that uh, it's a uh, it's uh, when they have like another colored cabling, uh, it usually just indicates that the the white is is the uh, uh, the negative ground cable so just uh, when you know that uh, that to be the case you just go ahead and just kind of follow that same rule uh, some case providers actually give you the correct listing so just so you know uh, here I'm holding is the uh, audio cable so and what I've been noticing is that I'm kind of grappling with a situation where it's uh, all these cables seem a little bit short, but we'll go ahead and make it work. Uh, if if you have a computer shop near you, you could always buy a, a, a cable extender, and that should fix the uh, problem for you. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and install this Q Connect. We'll go ahead and come back to this when we have some of the uh, extender front panel cables. So here we have the uh, audio cable installed. We also have our 1394 cable installed. And I'm just snaking through a uh, USB cable here. And with the USB cable, uh, you actually have a, your choice of a couple of ports that you could use. So I'm just going to choose a port that's a little bit closer to, uh, to the board's side so I have like a little bit more room, a little bit more slack with the uh, cable. What's interesting about this cable is that uh, the USB cable is that ASUS also includes a uh, QConnect cable for the uh, USB cable. Uh, you could choose to use this cable or you could choose to leave this cable out. Um, it all really just depends on if your case needs that little bit more of a slack or if you're going to just plug in the cable and unplug the cable uh, this might this might be the Q connect might be helpful for you if you're one of those users that or power users that upgrades your motherboard quite a bit then uh, you, you unplug and you plug in your boards or you swap them out uh, that might be a little bit advantageous but um, as you can see just a few quick plugins and you have everything pretty much connected. Thanks for watching this video clip and remember everything matters.